Good evening and welcome to the channel. I'm Old Dead Man. After quite a bit of um, well, you know, war thundering it with the latest event, I decided that I was going to take a bit of a break this evening and try out something new. Now this is Black Mesa. It's a, um, I guess, fan-made remake, except for they've become kind of a, more of an official thing. Anyway, it's a remake of, uh, of Half-Life 1 in the Source engine instead. Now, I've played Half-Life 1 entirely through multiple times, enjoyed it, a lot of fun. Haven't played it in a while, but, uh, you know, this is a, uh, this would be a great way to kind of get my toes back in there and kind of explore a little bit. So I might be taking my time moving around. Let's see what it is, and maybe we'll have some fun and, and have a nice little break from War Thunder uh, from the events today. All right. New game. Black Mesa Inbound. Ooh, that's cute. Stage 2 emitters activating. Preparing test specimen. I like this. That's cute. Nice. That's fun. Black Mesa. All right, that feels about right. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8 47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Interesting how much more detail there is, like security cameras. Inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Okay, that was a little disconcerting. Material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Oh. Love the desert environs, they look right. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary, Ooh, the helicopter the train, scene. disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails. Proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Looks good. Look at those plants. Should I be worried about those orange cones? Hmm.
that's interesting. They actually have a guard that's uh, monitoring the uh, entrance and making sure it's all ready. And opening it for the properly uh, authorized individuals. Might be some graphical glitches going on here. Subject, Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. Ooh. At least it isn't uh, killing that scientist like I saw sometimes on when uh, the game would bug out on Half-Life. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. My guess is there's some kind of lighting issue with the, uh, with the uh, graphics. I'll have to mess with that later. Not leave unattended. <laughs> if you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Hi, Barney. Looks like you're running late. Uh, maybe a little bit. Pretty scarce around these parts. Oh, not Barney. Yes, his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. There's Barney. Hey, the ponytail needed to go so I could look professional. I'm seeing you about a beer later. Jerk. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Were any of the messages important? Yes. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay, okay, I'm heading down there and getting my hazard suit. Have a good one. Ooh, I wonder if I can... What are you doing still Coming running around up here? Sergeant. Fine. Command and communications center. Go 
Good morning, there Dr. Was a Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? Don't worry. You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Hmm. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it. <laughs> Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Just hold on for a moment. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Well, that was some weird neck action going on there. All right, let's go check out the cafeteria. Hello. Oh, those are familiar. I used to fill out tons of those when I was a telephone operator many, many moons ago. Fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was um that was you know who's lunch. Hmm. That actually makes it more interesting. How is the debugging procedure coming? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Because it makes you look sharp. Very professorial. Okay, this looks like a hazard suit. Oh! You can knock the trash can around. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric. Heavens, I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Now, it's been a long time since I've played Half-Life, so I've remapped my controls to match the old ones there. Probably with how things have changed, I might actually need to remap the controls again to something more uh, current standard for first-person shooters. But uh, this is what I was familiar with when I was... Not many years ago now. Fine, I didn't want to go in there anyway. Do 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 la da 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 la da 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 Don't count on if anything ba do Later, Gordon. Are they making you wear a ridiculous tie too? Go right on through, sir. I don't want to go right on through. Looks like Fine. You're in the today. That's kind of disconcerting. Could I be in the box instead? Doctor. 
Go bother someone else, Gordon. Oh, gee. Yeah, I don't like you either. Fine. like a science -y Indiana Jones. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm worrying. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. What's up, Doc? Didn't you read my latest? I don't concur. That aim is kind of flaky, isn't it? Doctor, if another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. <laughs> that might be more literal than you think it is, bud. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Your tie is doing weird things to you. But we needed the extra resolution. And I was held the up in the uh, in the uh, transport the system. Exclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Yo, know, right. you could say that Come in many on, other ways, I'll and that was some way less, uh, you know, creepy. Eli has been busy making oh, last gee. preparations for the new up in my grill here. My horoscope Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. You know, when I, I work on computers and. I'm pretty sure the uh, the boards blowing out of the computer is a bad sign. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Yeah, you know, I'd like to resign, like right now. Uh, I'm sure you can take care of this test totally without me, right? Okay, that's it. Boards? Computers? Bad? This is bad? Okay, fine. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. Oh, no! Yeah, you gotta try picking up the boards and sticking them back in the computer. No. Okay, right, let's see. Buy Beckrell's ghost! Forbidden skills. The radiation level is off the charts. Um, uh, okay, you're not making me any happier either there, bud. This is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Tell me now, you're overreacting. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. In other words, push a button and stare at a screen. <laughs> Freeman? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. 
I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, really? yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel... doesn't need to hear all this. I kind of would like to hear all this because you're really telling me things I want to know. Administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, you're not making me feel confident, that's for sure. You make me worried. You worry me. You worry me too, but less, but more than him, actually, because you're awfully nonchalant about this. Ooh, pretty. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. I love the fact they actually marked the button. I don't like the fact that everything shook when I hit that button. Though. You're really worrying me a little bit here. Yeah, can you take the rest of it from here as well? Stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. <laughs> uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been... Okay, you're worrying me again. Ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Give little J.J. Abrams up there in the middle. Some things never change, okay? Standard Listen. insertion or non standard specimen. I can't pull it out. Not good. Ah! Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I want to out the door. Where's the door? Where's the door? Ah! What? Ew. Uh, well, I don't want to get. I can't move. Can't move. Why? Ah! Okay. 
out of here, out of here, out of here. Okay. Just a lamp. Yeah, what were you two thinking? Why Schrodinger's cat? He's alive. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Interesting the additional fluff they added to the. Ah! Ah, he's about to be giblets, I know that. Oh, and I might be giblets too at this rate. I. Uh, ah. Okay, that's. What the? What? How am I? It's a different feel to this. Okay, it's a little bit more realistic than it used to be. See you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Let's get the hell out of here. Let's see how you like this. One down. Hell if I know. Way bloodier than it used to be. I think 
think I just got a promotion. Ha! That's true. Oh, gee. You feeling lucky? Hopefully, there'll be something in here. I can... Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but. Don't dawdle. Is there anything else in here? Nothing else in here? Filled up on health. Let's get out of here. What? Oh, he stood up. I really wish I had him gotten about now. Okay. Let me get out of your way. Out of flares. <laughs> got another one. Okay, good. Glad to hear it. And I gotta true ah I gotta troubleshoot whatever this graphical bug is. Buddy back home is gonna believe this. Ah oh, crap, I'm empty. Yeah, no getting out that way. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? Crowbar, yes. Oh, that did not go well for me. That definitely did not go well for me. Okay. Some things never change. Yowch. Oh, man. Uh, 
can't see anything. Oh. All right, I picked up the pistol, and I've got... All right, so I got a rapid fire of mouse two. Okay. All right, so with the flashlight not working. Ah, there we go. Uh, maybe I put that here. And that's a good stopping point for the first chapter. What do you think? This is going to be a <laughs> going to be a lot of a trip down memory lane. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day and then come back to this at a later point when I can uh, see if I can troubleshoot the flashlight. Have a good night. We'll see you in Black Mesa.